There's a lot of strange Super Mario Brothers merchandise, but among all of them, this one definitely takes the cake. Now, oh, what is this? This is White Knuckle Scorin. Now, what is White Knuckle Scorin? Basically, it is a music album. But it's not really related to Super Mario Brothers. In fact, it has several songs from some authors who are already dead, like Roy Orbison, and some other bands whose most notable work is actually this album. Now, this album was released in 1991, at a time in which Super Mario World was the newest game in the series. And as you can see, there's a bunch of Mecha Koopas which debuted in Super Mario World. There's Mario and Luigi, obviously illustrated by American artists, because this is not a Japanese style. Princess Toadstool and Lemmy Koopa. Now, this album is very particular because it's actually a booklet, or a comic. Now, the cover is the most late 80s, early 90s, um... I don't even know how to describe this. This is... Well, take a look at it for yourself. Obviously, they're playing a Super Nintendo because that's a Super Nintendo controller. Game system is nowhere to be seen. There's a bunch of CDs and a guitar here and a bunch of teenagers with weird late 80s, early 90s punk hairstyle. And they're playing a game in which Mario is punching a Goomba while Lemmy Koopa is chasing him. Now, Mario has not punched any enemy until 1995 when Super Mario RPG came out. A lot of people falsely credit Super Mario 64 with the debut of his punching attack, but it was actually before that. So inside you will find, of course, the list of songs and a comic which is called White Knuckle Scorin' The Adventure. Now this is the cheesiest comic you could ever imagine, loosely based on Super Mario World. And every so often in the story you will have a little song cue here. That indicates that you're supposed to play a song from the actual CD itself. In the story, Princess Toasto is kidnapped by Bowser and um, he takes him to the castle, which is located in the Valley of Storms, according to this comic. It's actually called Valley of Bowser in the game, but whatever. And the seven Koopa kids actually enjoy her company, which is rather uncommon. Mario and Luigi encounter Yoshi, and um, the only thing I can say about this album is I'm sure there was a large amount of crack being done here, or any other strong illegal substance to that effect. Now, this is really not a terribly common item, and I don't know if everywhere in the United States actually got this album. I actually got this um, close to 1991, and um, it was really strange because I have no idea what to expect about it. The song selection, however, is not all that bad. Now, due to copyright and whatnot, I can't actually show you any of this selection because, well, you get the idea. But you can actually check these songs out. Some of them are pretty good. What was the thought process behind this album, and who was this intended for? Well, the world may never know.